Well, hello there, everybody. It's Chris from the Rate the Record podcast, and yes, it is that time of the week again where we do some new music reviews. Three new songs for you to check out that I've listened to and I want you to check out and tell me what you think of them. That's kind of how the show goes, right? Well, anyways, let's go ahead and do it. And a launch off. There we go. There's literally no wall there. I was just miming. There's a wall a little further away, but (laughs) that's the magic of editing, I guess, and camera work, and let's get to music. So first up, we have the band Ithaca, and they just released a brand new album called They Fear Us, and the single that I'm looking at from this particular album is called The Future Says Thank You. A lot of intensity from the word go on this one, just blast beats galore and pure like metalcore riffage, just to get everything started. The singer has an excellent scream, it's intense, it's clean, it's got a great tone to it, and the regular singing goes in tandem with it really well, so I mean, just everything's working very well so far, and we're not even that far into the song. The production is what you would expect from like a typical like polished metalcore act, everything is there and sounds great, but the only kind of real problem as per usual is that the bass is buried in the mix. I don't know why metal tends to hate bass so much. I mean, there are obviously metal acts that, you know, put it forward a little more, but it's more typical to bury it and I don't know why. The last minute of the track was really nice too, probably one of my favorite parts of the entire song. It was heavy, it was atmospheric, a lot of layering going on, but it works so well. You know, overall, I do like this song. It's not the most exciting thing that I've ever heard, but at the same time, I was never bored. I'd be curious to check out the rest of the album if it comes off as appealing as this particular track. So next up we have The Hirsch Effect, and they have a new single out recently called Palogenesis. And it's from their EP Solitaire, so let's go ahead and check this one out. This one was exciting right from the beginning. Once everything kicked in, I enjoyed the tone, the pacing, and it was a really just grand feeling overall with the composition. The chord layering is excellent. It sounds really good. Whatever's happening, I liked it immediately. There's just different chord patterns and just layering on top of each other. It works. It works so well. It also ends up getting much more brutal than anticipated. I mean, there's like lots of super heavy moments. Blast beats go on for a little while and, you know, this thing just goes. And it's just another track too where it has a really nice balance of like, you know, nice clean singing and really intense screaming. I definitely get between the Buried in Me vibes going throughout this song. Don't get me wrong, there's quite a bit of influence from different styles and artists, but I think BT Bam's like the ultimate underlier of this entire song. Maybe the band, I don't know because I haven't really heard them before. I think a lot of it has to do with the, you know, prog metal composition going on in the entire track. Overall, this is just another great track so far in my three song list. I mean, I had a lot of fun with this one. It's another EP for my to-do list as I'm definitely curious for more. And finally, we have Dune Rats, and I'm checking out their latest single, Pamela Aniston from their new album, Real Rare Whale. Boy, I had to say that one slowly. That felt like a tongue twister when I tried to say it quickly. This is something a little more different from the other two tracks I just covered. Something a little more, you know, pop punk slash power pop oriented. The chorus and hook is super catchy in this one. It's a lot of fun just to listen to and go through. Great pacing in the instrumentals. The drums have a really big feel to them and it really helps push the song along. Everything is pretty simplistic moving along through this track, but there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. It's just a bouncy song with like these cute lyrics about having a childhood crush on a celebrity. I mean, I mean, we've all been there, so that's very relatable. This is the kind of feel good track that I would have put on like a playlist that I have on certain platforms. That's like my nostalgic 90s, 2000s throwback jams. That's what this song reminds me of. And as an added bonus, if you by chance like the music video for Cake's short skirt long jacket, then chances are you'll love this music video. It's essentially the exact same thing modernized for 2022 in Australia. Exact same concept. They go around, let people listen to it with their headphones and get genuine reactions and stuff like that. So yeah. Fun, charming little video to go along with a fun, charming little song. I like it. And overall, that's pretty much exactly what I can call it. Just good times all around. Simple, catchy, energetic, feel good. It feels like a summer song. I definitely dig it. 
you should check it out. And there you go, three more songs for you to check out this week, three that maybe you wouldn't have listened to originally, maybe you would, I don't know. But regardless, I want to know what you think, so make sure that you let me down, know down in the comments below, that's what I meant to say, about what you thought of these three songs, I'm always curious to hear your opinion on them. And of course you can let us know over on our social medias, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, wherever, it's all at Rate The Record Podcast, except for Twitter, which is at Rate The Record, because it's just so fancy and special on its own, and only allowed, what, like 15 characters or something like that? Regardless, you can find us over there, but you can find all of those links and more links, including streaming and other things that aren't listed, over at ratetherecord.ca. Everything that you need is there. Go check it out. So don't forget that the actual Rate the Record podcast will be back on August 15th. We are currently in the middle of a, like, you know, little uh, between-season break right now. Just listening to music casually for once and not necessarily just critiquing it. So... <laughs> It's nice to do that. We're doing that right now, but we will be back real soon. But in the meantime, we still do have content for you to check out. Just a couple of weeks ago, we released a video that ranks all of our number ones from season two. So every time one of us had a number one, well, it has to go into an order from best to worst, right? Or vice versa, I guess. So make sure you go check that out. And of course, not only that, but we also have our best of season two video, which just came out this past Monday. So all the moments that we thought were the funniest at the very least are going to appear in that video. So make sure you check it out. There's some pretty great moments in there. I had a good time putting that one together. So go ahead, check out the best of season two before you get started for season three. And next week too, I know the podcast won't be back next week, but Savannah will be releasing her very first edition of I Love This Song. I already did mine for Nine Inch Nails covering Zoo Station by U2. And now she has one coming out this Monday. You're going to have to stick around to find out what song she really loves and made a whole video about. That's it. That's all I got for you now. That's the end of the week. Actually, it's the middle of the week. But regardless, thank you for watching. We will see you again real soon. So until we do see you again, take care, friends.